Tonight on Glucology, I try not to do this voice all the way through. And Biles, <laughs> miserably, generous. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. Hi, and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. And tonight, as you can see from the tea cozy on Sven's head, it's Educating Dave. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, yes. we are going to educate Dave. Oh, we got to change the title of this. <laughs> on MP43, which is a Takara masterpiece, and specifically, it is Beast Wars Megatron, which is one of the more interesting Megatrons in my personal opinion. And for those of you who do not speak Transformer, it works like this, Japanese toy. Expensive, oh yeah. So, before I touch the box, yeah. because somebody pre-warned me how expensive this is, before I get my very sweaty hands all over your packaging, how much is this one? Depending on where you get it from. Depending on where you get it. Yeah, presuming you're getting it from the back alley given to you by a crack dealer. It appears, how much? It appears to be ranging from around about 230 to 270. <laughs> Great. Okay, so. Oh, oh, trust me. <clears throat> a bit later on you'll be crying. But we won't go there yet. Okay, so let's go for the packaging first of all. It okay. is the standard Takara Masterpiece packaging, i.e. it is black with white trim. They've used silver foil to pick out the word Transformer Masterpiece on the side. Now, what's different about the Transformers logo, Dave? Yes, well, the fact that it's in Japanese is a bit of a bugger. No. But other than the Oh, the, the fact that it's a uh, Beast Wars. Yes. Yes, yeah. Uh, that, which that, that, that kind of looks a little bit G2, but it isn't. Yeah, that's quite cool. Again, with all the masterpiece, they go with actual photos of the toy. Obviously, you know, tweaked, but yep. done. Looking rather spectacular. And yeah, I think that about covers it. It's, you know, good, sturdy Might stuff. Might want to show the back of the box. Might want to show the back. Baby got back. There you go. So, as you can see, lots of information, not in English. So, yeah, I, I can't tell you much about that. Uh, I can tell you the first time I looked at the back of the box, I felt I didn't. I missed the the term LR44 twice. <laughs> but don't worry, we're ready. I'll cry. <laughs> Are we ever ready? Okay, so we open it up, and as always, we have clamshell packaging. Just pop this uh, to one side and hopefully not trip over it and make Sven cry. Sven, we have instructions with, as always, a collector's card. Yes. Okay, I'm just going to flip this up the other way very carefully. Okay, so let's just pop the tape off the side. Let's pop that over there. And pop the top one of these over there. Ooh. Quite like that. That's interesting. So Ooh. the collector's card is actually themed after the original boxes. Okay. Oh, which is quite cool, because that, that graphic used to be on more boxes. I'm going to assume those are parts of the stand. Yes, the stand that doesn't come with it. There is a toothbrush, Sven. There is a toothbrush. Is that an in-joke, Sven? Uh, well, no, it's not a joke. It's from an episode. So it's an in-joke? Well, I suppose. If you can look at it why? Why? There appears to have been some changes to the instructions. Why is there a toothbrush? Because in one of the episodes, you were sitting there, and well, you have to bear in mind that the the T Rex head becomes one of his fists, hands. So he literally ends up in one of the episodes, toothbrushing in his hand, going. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Just, you know, a very interesting looking gun. For hunting. We have two ones. different faces. Yes, as well as the one that's already on it. Okay, and then we've got an like energy that. weapon of some variety. Yes. Okay, so it's us pop him carefully pop him out. Nice bit of weight. Not very heavy though, mind you, as you said, pass it across as over in. Why are there flowers on his bum? What? Flower design. You know, that looks more like a target to me, but... Ooh. Okay, well, okay so while it's in dinosaur mode, can I do one thing just because I know it does it? Yes. Okay, so... People might be impressed with the articulated jaw, which shows off the teeth, which is very nice. Yes. But that's not why I know this does. See the eyes? Yes. 
You can tweak where the pupil is in the yes. eye. <laughs> That's stunning. nice. It's nice. a really nice touch. Now, as anybody who's ever watched one of our Transformer videos knows, this is the bit where I go, there you go. Yeah. Because like I am not touching a 200 plus quid Transformer. That is not happening. You can you can knock yourself out while I ask silly questions. Really I, uh, can, can I show off my really sad Transformer knowledge? Yes. That's not Megatron. Correct. That should be purple. Yes. Why is it red? Purple. It's red because I couldn't find my purple one. So I had to go with my red one instead. Oh, there's so many jokes. <laughs> uh, what is the red one? Is he a recolor or is he a different character? He's a repaint that is a different character. Right. It's the same mould as the original Megatron toy. Okay. Sorry, second Megatron toy. Um, because the original Megatron toy was in fact a crocodile alligator type thing. Um, yeah. Um, and then basically they did the purple dinosaur. Um, and this was a maximal repaint. And I say maximal. It's a maximal. Because that's something I've never heard of. Maximals were the descendants of the Autobots. Predacons, the descendants of the Decepticons. Okay. Okay. Maximal. But this Maximal here is actually a Dinobot called T Rex. T R E C K S. Hyphen Um So, yeah. But it's the same mold, so it gives you an idea. Just think about it. I like the fact they articulated. I find my Megatron. I like the fact they articulated the individual toes. Yes. Seems completely. That's an upgrade already because nice. that was a whole full. Well, I just. <laughs> well, as I said, that's completely pointless, but interesting. Yeah. And of course, there's our, that's the robot. Oh, now this one is one I'm probably not too afraid because Beast War ones are cheaper than normal G1. Well, that's Masters. the Robot Masters one. That was a Japanese exclusive. Um, <laughs> Just as I was getting brave to enough run. to want to have a go. <laughs> go and transform him. I hate his face. That's, that's really ugly. Like your face, mate. No, I'm not being funny. That's... That's not a yeah. nice looking head like. It looks a little bit more like the animation they did for it because they, did, they messed around some animation with that. So let me get this right. When he meets an enemy, he goes, hmm, let me fish you. Well, yeah, I mean, the original toy can't actually take that off. It's stuck on. It's stuck okay. Um, that's nice though. That gives you a yeah. grip. Why didn't they stick with that? Because that's cool. Because that's a little toy and they couldn't get it engineered in for the kind of price they're going for. Okay. Primarily. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's like, ha ha. Well, but I tell you what, here's an idea. idea. Why don't I... There's put... also a switch underneath this scaly bit at the top of his head. Oh, wow, that's just a raw circuit switch. Yeah, I've yeah, covered yeah. it in it. Mind you, it's got a shield on it. Yeah. Okay, so what does that switch do? Well, there's a button on the top now. There you go. <laughs> Okay, Japanese. I should have known that because it's Takara. What did he just say? I don't know. I have a guess. I say something along the lines of, Ah, an underhanded sneak attack. I like you, pussycat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> It's got a, a sequence of of them. Yes. Unfortunately, I'm not well enough acquainted with the language to be able to add some more. Scorponok. Okay, stop stabbing in the dark at what he says. Having our Japanese viewers go. Do they smoke crack? <laughs> Is that in the bloopers? Um, come on then, get get this bad boy transformed. Uh, Megatron, terrorise. <laughs> you really do like the Beast Wars version, don't you? Yes. <laughs> yeah, 
That bitch I know I've got to be careful with. Now, normally there is a um, time lapse video of Sven transforming them, that. but unfortunately, we have a small technical difficulty in the fact that the Memory one card for the card like. is only one terabyte. <laughs> <sighs> it just wasn't enough. <laughs> Rude. This is my fourth bottle. <laughs> in the last 15 minutes. So, Sven. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Oh, oh, oh yeah. <laughs> so on a scale of 1 to 10, how easy to transform was that? Uh, yeah. Okay, so there was a point when you were transforming this where you swore and yeah. quote unquote said I had to use more effing fours there than I wanted to. Could yeah. you elaborate on that smidge? Basically, looking at the instructions, which is difficult because obviously they're in Japanese and I don't speak Japanese. Um, As we saw from your wonderful translation attempt yeah. earlier. Um, there's a, there's a bit where you pull the torso away from the main body to extend a section inside, which then allows you to sort of like flip it up and put it into the position as it's now. I, there was, it didn't feel like it wanted to come out. Stop it. Um, I was assuming there was some kind of catch or lever or something I needed to press to allow it to extend. And it's not, you just pull it. And I'm just like, mm -hmm. I was half expecting it to come away in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so yeah, that, that, that's where that's literally where I got stuck. Is there's this one part where I was thinking to myself, you know, if I use the force I need to pull this part, uh, it's going to break. Uh, especially with the reports about the breaks <laughs> in this toy. We're now seeing where the, some of those may have come from, uh, and no, it's not for it's actually somewhere the entirely thing. different. Oh, okay. okay. Yes, yeah. the crotch splits. So oh, many jokes. <laughs> <clears throat> But yes, there is a, there's, a, there's apparently quite a, a widespread problem where the crotch is breaking and cracking and opening up. Um, you can see the swirly plastic. Yeah, I can yeah. see where there's a potential for a weak point. Some there. people are saying that they've basically transformed it into robot mode, left it overnight and come back to it in the morning it's cracked in the crotch. Some people Ooh. have opened the box and found it like it immediately. Oh, wow. So I'm That's going to be keeping an eye on that. Apparently there's some... So you don't need to make excuses to keep your eye on Megatron's crotch, okay? It's fine. We'll accept you in the community regardless. <laughs> yes. Um Apparently there's some kind of oil or ointment or something you can put on it to there's soften an oil crotch. That, there's <laughs> an oil you can um, put on certain yeah, plastics. Apparently it's overly brittle. That's the problem. Yeah. And the pressure's it, on. You know, to be fair, considering the amount of toys you possess, that would have that. I'm surprised you don't already own some. Well, I didn't know about it until last week. That's a damn good reason. It's what we say. Wouldn't have helped things with with GPS. No. We've got plastic syndrome, which is all the other problems I've had in the past. No. Okay. So um, yeah, um, but oh my good god! I like the fact that um, he has a hole in his head for that. Which is awesome. Yeah. I'm guessing that doesn't light up. It's oh, it does light up. He's always oh, light, light up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would have been a laugh of that. that is it. Okay, so we'll go for the non-expert's opinion here. Yeah. Okay. You can feel the quality in the plastic. Except the crotch. <laughs> Possibly the crotch. For me, a damn point is the fact that you can see several screw holes. And by that, I am not referring to the... Uh, Split uh, in the crotch. <laughs> by that, I am not commenting on the hinge points for their articulation for the hands and so on. I accept those. I have no problem with that. I just do not feel, especially on a toy this expensive that screw holes like that should be seen they should definitely have been covered by something even if it's only a plate face or a rubber grip they should have something rather than you seeing that fair enough okay the detailing is very nice mm -hmm. it does feel sturdy it doesn't feel you know, no it doesn't but i don't feel that should be included in 
the review of the toy purely because it's a masterpiece one. Yeah, they should, should all feel yeah. like that. Attention to detail is, is stunning yeah. and it is a very nice looking toy. However, not at the price point you told me. No. No. Here's hoping it gets, I mean there's, there's a possibility, I mean, it may be a remote possibility, but there's a possibility it might get um, a release in the UK and or as well, probably more likely the States, because this toy was shown at the New York Toy Fair. Mm. Um, so which makes you think, well, it's got a shot. Now, if this comes out over here and it's significantly cheaper, then yeah, definitely go for it. But at this price, you're going to have to if it was, if these was fun. If it was retailing 140 Oh, every day? Yeah. All day long? Yeah. Totally. More than that. Now, but you see, the problem is, and it's a problem we've had with all of these, yeah. I'm not a fan. No, so it does make my reviews very you know, I am purely going on the quality of a toy and a piece and yeah, nostalgia yeah. sort of. I can't really go, you know, oh yes, this is definitely. Yeah, I know what you mean. I mean, from my point of view, I like this character. Shockingly. I know you do. Um, God, the impressions I've had to sit for. It. <laughs> no idea. Let's see if I can pop that off because that's not in that scene. So are you are you happy with the toy as such? Um, yeah, I mean, is the, the thing. problems transforming it? Well, no, because now I know. Now you know. Now I know. And now we need half a battle. battle. <laughs> um, <laughs> literally. Oh, and there goes a the toothbrush. Yes. <laughs> While you're getting. So there he is with his toothbrush. I've managed to take the tail off because it just slides off. I've discovered. Um, oh, so it's a, it's a variation on that one. Yeah. yeah. Well, he just sort of like he just. I goes know. On I hand, know. This is. Yeah, it's yeah. it's like there, yeah, there. Whatever. Um, so yes, you can do the scene from the show where he's basically brushing his teeth, which is quite cool. Yes. Um, <laughs> you've got the gun for the hunting episode, Call of the Wild, I think it was called. Uh, like I'm going to call you on it. Well, basically, no. the, the Maximals have been in, in um, beast mode so long that they become feral. Yeah. Um, in a way, which is quite cool. Um, so he goes hunting, uh, and you've got the two different heads now. Um, as you saw earlier, there's the there's the second head. Mm -hmm. Well, I will do some photos for you, obviously. Mm. Um, and then, um, oh yes, that devious smile of his. Let's just take that head off. Brush on the floor and everything. Wow, that's bright. <laughs> Almost as bright as the old spark. No. Really feel that that is something that will probably be appreciated more in photos and video. Yeah, absolutely. But this is our, I mean, look at the possibility of that. Okay, so it's, it's double jointed on each finger. Oh, yeah. That's great. That's fantastic. So what's the downside? To what? Uh, there, there isn't one. There other isn't. than the price. I mean, uh, the price in that crotch problem. But other than that, this is glorious. This is... Okay. As good as a masterpiece would ever get, I think. Marvellous. I mean, you look, I mean, this is the thing, this Primal was really, really good. This is really, really good. I'm depressed that I haven't been able to get Dinobot, because <laughs> that's stunning from yeah. all the photos I've seen. And he comes with the stand that those extra bits work with. Oh, is that what that's for? Yeah, so um, you, you basically you can have a position where you can have Megatron lifting Dinobot up using right. the clear parts. So that's why yeah. they're included with this toy. Yeah. Why doesn't he have a base? That's a good question because originally it looked like he was coming with a base and some people have said that last minute it was removed from the packaging. I don't believe that. I think it might have been a mistranslation or something like that somewhere along the lines. But okay. there was the general consensus that people thought he was going to come with the same stand as Dinobot did and then he didn't. Okay. He just comes with his adaption point so you can use Dinobot and Megatron together on the same no. stand. Do they make that clear in the instructions? I don't know because it's... Don't do so for me. Okay, well, that's fair enough. I'm pretty sure, I mean, I, I have seen the, the, the number for, I mean, MP, I think it's MP41 um, for um, Dinobot, and that does appear in the text, MP41 mm. does, so I'm assuming it may they make it clear, so... Cool. Yeah, but this is stunning. 
Mm. Absolutely stunning. I will do some photos with Primal as well because they are in scale with each other, even though Primal's like this tall. Yeah. In comparison. But that's what they look like in the show. So I, I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. So, I love it. is pff, I don't have to score them so <laughs> okay <laughs> right well that about wraps it up for us but if you have any comments please leave them in the section below and we will get back to you on that if you haven't you should take this marvellous opportunity to subscribe to us on YouTube don't forget to hit that notification bell you can also follow us on both Facebook and Twitter and while you're on Facebook you should check out Geekology the group as that's where we hide all the fun photos of the bits and pieces that we've reviewed there's going to be a few of this. Mm, yes. Cheers. Yes. Cheers. And don't forget to check out our Patreon page because if you subscribe to us on a tier that's called Ensign slash Mini or above, you get early access to our videos. How good is that? Right, well, well thank you for watching and good night. Bye.
tonight, I'm, I'm sorry. <clears throat> yes. Tonight on Ecology, I try not to do this for the way through. And fails <laughs> miserably. Yes. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Yeah. <laughs> Find out why Sven likes a little pussy. I like you, pussycat. Yes. It's Barney! <laughs> Expensive Barney toy in the world. <laughs> yes. Tonight on Geekology, the most expensive Barney ever made. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Tonight on Geekology, I get to hear Sven do this. Yes. All the way through. Yes. Did you know or that? It does only have the three, doesn't it? I think so. Okay, so... We need to terrorise uh, Right, uh, yeah, no, that's it. Okay, so... Three, two... Has it right so what we'll, we'll just what's name it? Really easy. We'll just reboot it back. Because we know the first one is always the same. It's not. Yeah. That's all we just did. Okay. So cool. Um, I heard you swear at one point quite vividly. Yeah. Because you had to use quote unquote a lot more force than I thought I'd have to. Yeah, I've literally, it, it's literally a situation where um, pulling the torso away from the body to extend it, it felt like I was using all the force in the bleeding world that I didn't want to use on this toy. Because <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I knew where it was going to go, but I kept looking at it thinking there's a catch. Now, there was a point during that where you swore, and I yeah. quote unquote, <clears throat> I had to use more force there than I wanted to. Do you, yeah. you want to yeah. elaborate on that, Smith? Literally, there's a part where you have to pull the torso away from the toy to extend a part Sorry, inside. Sorry, can we, um, we do that but I'm not a fucking child? <clears throat> we haven't got Three, another 30 years of illness. Right, I don't care what you say, I am not referring on film to this being your wee beastie. Especially since your wee beastie's more like a wee gerbil. <coughs> Looking in the mirror again. What, the wee, the gerbil, what, what, what? Your wee beastie. Because if it's the size of a gerbil. Shit. <laughs> you <coughs> fucking ass. Great. Okay, so. Oh, oh, trust me, <clears throat> a bit later on you'll be crying, but we won't go there yet. Not with that loop. Right, so, <laughs> that's a bloopers one for you. <clears throat> Three, two, go for it. Now there's also uh, a switch underneath here. You switch on wow. the electronics in the head. That is tiny and hidden tiny out of way. And it's a raw circuit switch, they're not faffed about covering no. it with anything, it's just, there's yeah, the switch. Sure. Okay, so what's that do? Of course Rigatron. it's being jump. Sorry. <laughs> Do you want to push it one more time and that way we can get back to the underhanded sneak attack version of so. Okay. Three, two, one. Well, you need to do the switch. Three, two, one. Oh, nice exit. I just turned you off. <laughs> oh, is it a woman? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi and welcome to Geekology, I'm David and I'm Sven and tonight we have MP43 better known as Beast Wars Megatron which is one of the masterpiece Takara range which for those of you who do not speak Transformer roughly translates to Japanese toy very fucking expensive so I'm going to redo this I'm going to redo this so he can use the edit because you know he's not allowed to put that in the film so we're going to have another go Wait until the blues goes anywhere. One. Hi and welcome to Geekology. I'm David. I'm Sven. And as you can see from the tea cosy on Sven's head, it's Educating Dave. And tonight... I'm sorry, Linda, for him being so damn brutal. <laughs> and tonight... <laughs> do you want to use that in the bloopers? Or oh yeah, that's going in the bloopers. Okay, so oh, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. getting to the joke again. <laughs> Three, two... Nice bit of weight. Not very heavy though. Mind you, as you said, that's the price is over in. Why are there flowers on his bum? What? Flower design. You know, that looks more like a target to me, but cool. Okay. Well, he's got a target on his bum. Has he been on grinder? That's just legs. Ahem. We'll go back to footage that's spanking news. Okay, so this is the point where David stops handling the toy. Oh, can I do just one thing why, why we've got him in robot mode, just because I know it does it? In dinosaur mode. In dinosaur mode. What did I say? Robot mode. Well, that makes me a tard. <laughs> <laughs> Should we have a re-go at this? Three, yes. two. Let me just clip it back together, because it seems we've tried to disassemble. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> that side's all right. Come on. Oh god, it's disintegrating in your hands, isn't it? No! <laughs> Just got to line it up properly. Get it in here. Spit it. No. That's just rude. Even on fucking Paul, that's rude. <laughs> Use lube like a normal person. Okay, so why is it in robot mode? <laughs> Three, two. So there's also a switch underneath. The head. So Sven, are we going to tell people the reason why we can't have time lapse of you transforming that is because you filled an entire memory card of you trying to transform that? Um, no, we won't No, we're not mentioning that. Okay. Right. Three, two, one. That's a very nice one. I should have bought it. Okay. Alright, uh, so, you ready? Yes. Three. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. But be honest with me here. Okay? You've been watching a bit too much hentai. <laughs> should, we, should, we, should we go with some bits that you can use on the film? Yeah. Get quicker, you need <clears throat> Sorry, right. Serious mode. Serious face? Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right, well, um, is there anything else you need to educate me on? I don't think so. Ooh, ooh, get off right! Wow! Yes. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, you, no, no, no. There were things I need to say before that. So, three, okay. two. Marvellous! Great! Okay, well, that about wraps it up for us. If you have any comments, please leave them in the room. Yep, go on then. <laughs>